Emily from Nobel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is my non-fiction on booktube tag. Now I saw this on the lovely Nicole's channel from A Beautiful Chaos of Books and you know what I thought I would try and do this because I have found that I really love non-fiction. Not something I ever imagined. If you asked the lovely Julie Hungry Bookworm she would never have expected me to give the answer. But I do and it's something I really am I'm trying to grow on my channel something I think I need to do a little, little bit more of but you'll see that in the answers so shall I get started this was created by Olive at the Book Olive and like I said I really love non-fiction some of these questions are going to be a bit hard but I'll give them my best shot so let's, shall we, let's go with it I look like I said I will I did see it on Nicole's channel so I will link her video for it below and that's also where the prompts are because as you all know with everything being a bit crazy, a lot of my time is spent with the children and I need to be a bit more dedicated, so sorry about that. But like I said, you could check out her channel and you'll see that, see the prompt there. So, how much non-fiction do you read is the prompt number one. I tend to read at least one book a month. I'm at the moment going through at least about two books a month on non-fiction. My goal was to read 12 in the year and I believe, I think I've already met that, should we have a look? How many non-fiction books have I read? Oh, let me have a look, because I set myself a goal. And I'm looking here. Da, 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 da. I've already done 10 non-fiction books this year, and my goal was only 12. So I'm not doing too badly, am I? And this month I'm reading a few more, quite a few more, because it's Mental Health as long as this is going up. Which will relate to one of the answers for another prompt shortly. So what kind of non-fiction videos do you make, or do you want to make more on BookTube? I don't really necessarily make specific non non-fiction book um, videos on here. I certainly plan to make a lot more of them. In fact, that's given me some ideas for June and July. I will be starting to add a few more in. I think I want to make them about the non-fiction books that matter to me. Some of them on the non-fiction books from different eras, different times. You can have non-fiction on so many different areas. It can be on history. It can be on health issues like mental health or like pain issues it can be um autobiographical it can be so many different areas and i tell you what before i joined booktube i would never have been uh, believed how many different types of non-fiction books so i think i want to bring non-fiction books so it can relate to everyone so that might be a good video actually i think i might do a top 10 non-fiction book videos there you go that's another that's a book another video ready so the next one number three what is your favorite subgenre of non-fiction to me, you guys know the answer to that, it's wartime non-fiction. So it is from my first ever non-fiction book that I read as a teenager, which is The Diary of Anne Frank, which probably goes down as one of my favourite non-fiction books ever. To another answer, The Tattoo of Outwits. Love that one, it's again, it's another one of my favourites. They're two of my favourite non-fiction books because you can really go into so much detail about the different where the war was. And I think in general I would say historical non-fiction is my favourite. Another book, another one I can show you is um, The Six Tudor Queens, and that is Anne um, Boleyn. So I believe um, that Alison Weir writes a lot of non, non a lot of non fiction in her Tudor Wives, which which I found that's another area I really love. So I, in general, I would say historical non fiction, but especially wartime and Tudor because they're two of my favourite areas of areas of history. The next one is, what do you have a favourite non fiction book? Now, you guys know the answer to that. It was my joint favourite book of last year. It is This Is Gonna Hurt by Adam Kay. It is probably, it's another answer to another prompt in this shortly, but it is one of the best non-fiction books I have ever read. It is Adam Kay's story from his, his, the years he was working in the NHS, which right now is even more predominant. And it, it's, it's not too long a book, but it goes through his career and it goes through the things he tackles and why he has to leave on, leave the NHS and why he has a different career now but this is a really good book and it's one I thoroughly recommend the first time I read it it was my sister's copy and then I bought my own copy at a, at a car boot sale because it's such a good book and it's one that I would thoroughly recommend that everyone reads I know that Victoria's only just read it and it's brilliant it's one that she recommends for her mental health as on so that topic that covers quite a lot of different topics so I'm going to keep that right near me and another I would say favourite because you know me I never give one one answer for a, for a prompt my other joint favourite book is Why Mommy Drinks, and that's by Jill Sims. 
in another video you'll see why this is my joint favourite. But this is um, a non-fiction book on a tale of being a mummy and what being a mummy does to you. And I've just got a cat that's come to visit me, sorry about that. But they're, they're my two favourite non-fiction books and I love them both. I've got so many non-fiction books that I love so it was quite hard to pick. But I knew that Charlie would kill me if I didn't put down my absolute favourite of last year. So the next one is, why do you think that people, um, that keeps people away from wanting to read not more of non-fiction books? And I think it's because they don't think that non-fiction books are interesting enough. That they find that the stories are not necessarily relevant to them. That they can't relate to non-fiction. And I think that they don't realise how interesting it can be. And it's something that really does need to be changed. Because to me, non-fiction is one of the best areas because it can teach us so much. And then why do you like non-fiction? Like I just said, to me, non-fiction teaches us so much. It From the wartime ones about or how our past can teach us what, how, where to find strength that our predecessors had, to the fact that it can teach us like about mental health, about so many different areas. And with non-fiction, you're getting the facts and you're getting the true information, which is really relevant to so many different things in our lives. And I think that's why. And I also realised that it's very, very interesting. What is a favourite non-fiction book you've read because of booktube? And that was going to be an obvious answer to that. This is this is going to hurt by Adam Kate. This is I read this last year because of booktube, and it is one of the best non-fiction books ever. Like I said, already answered that one again. So I love that one. Okay, so the next one I have not bought the book upstairs with me because I've only just read it, but you'll see it in my in my thumbnail. What is your best non-fiction book you've read lately? And that is The Prison Doctor by Amanda Brown. You guys will see in my wrap-up part one, which I'll link below. I've only just finished that book. It is fantastic. It's about a doctor who, wor who works in the prison sector, and it's fantastic. It's one that I love completely. It's brilliant, and it really does need to be raved about so much. The next one is, what are some of your non-fiction reading goals? So obviously... I'm going to be getting to my 12 easily. I think I might try and up that to 20 non-fiction books this year. There you go. That's another little prompt about for another goals video. And I also think I need to go into, that's what pardon me, about reading non-fiction books about different countries. I need to, my geography, is not, my geography at geographical history is not something I, I know a huge amount about. So that's something I definitely would like to read more about. Obviously, it's mental health and so on. I want to read more mental health non-fiction books. I want to read more books about, that will teach me because... Obviously, right now I need to know about how to get through things. I think that would be quite relevant. And I've just thought I would also like to um, read more books about being a parent because it's the hardest job going and I would like to be guided slightly. Sometimes I think I need to listen to others unless I'm not always being right myself. Yeah, so that's then sort of the areas. And I think I want to read about them and I do want to do more videos for my non-fiction books because I think that would be quite interesting. So, the next, what is your advice for incorporating more non-fiction books into your reading diet? My biggest piece of advice would be find an area of non-fiction that you like, that you can relate to, that relates to the books you like reading in general, and then go there. Start off with a subject that matters to you, because that would be something that you'll want to read. Sorry, Thomas is playing with the balloon. Sorry about this. Um, so, yeah, I think that would be it. There's so much non-fiction books out there, and there's so many different things. And also, watch recommendation videos. They are fantastic for guiding us all. I have learnt so much about different non-fiction books out there because of my fellow booktubers, and I found that so interesting. Um, I think Victoria is very good at recommending them, so that's going to be another. But, yeah, certainly watch recommendation videos. So the bonus, give some recommendations of non-fiction non booktube channels you like. Victoria, she's read, from what Victoria read, she reads quite a bit. Simone, from me, Simone and I, love her non-fiction books. And Charlotte from Books and Bargains, again, another one who reads quite, Charlotte actually really does read quite a lot of non-fiction books. So we will link their channels below. Anyway, guys, this isn't one of my longest videos, I'm sorry about that, but I love non-fiction. And I will put in my thumbnail some of my favourite non-fiction books. I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe to it. Ring on my ding-a-ling. And bye-bye, everyone. Bye.